everyone, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Court Farms. We are here, we're about to jump in the Valtra actually and run down to collect the trailer. Um, we left the JCB at the end of the last episode with those lovely stacked bales and we were hoping that Davy was going to be finished on the third field with the baler and uh, be able to bring the trailer up with the Massey. He hasn't finished yet, there is quite a lot of bales to work with. So we're going to run down to field 33, we're going to pick the trailer up and then we are going to run this back up there and then we can get them loaded up. So um, let's head down there. Things are going well, I've got to say, the efficiency levels are off the charts. We've still got um, a couple of contracts to finish, uh, which should bring us some rather nice cash in. There's the, uh, the maze looking rather good in the field there that we planted earlier on. A few weeds in there that need to come out as well. We need to do that at some point, but uh, just for now, we've got enough on our plate. So we'll push on, we'll head down, and uh, we'll pick up that trailer, and we'll see how Davey's doing. Davey's in the last field, I know that. There was field 130 at the top of the map. He'd finished that, and he had headed down to field, I think it was 33. So we'll head down there now, and we'll see how he's getting on. All right, here we are. I can see the windrows over there in the far field. Can't see a bale. Oh, I can see a baler. There he is doing his thing. It's always interesting with that baler. It takes ages for the first bale to come out and then they come out thick and fast after that. So um, there should be another good crop on there. But we are here for the trailer. So we'll grab this and we'll head back up to the other field. There we go, the grass has started to grow back already. Look at this in this field as well. It's not going to take long for there to be another cut ready, and we're going to be doing some more. But I've got to say, the efficiency with the new equipment uh, has been even better than I first thought we would uh, we would get out of this, which is great. And we're starting to make some good money. Look at that, it's only just delivered his first bale. They are short windrows, though. Um... And then we've also got another two contracts sitting, waiting to be done. So let's have a quick look at those. Um, field 24 is active. Field 33 is the one we're just doing at the moment. Field 130, um, that's the one we're working on at the moment. These ones haven't been started yet. There we go. Field 65 and Field 64 right next to each other. So by the time we've completed 24, 33 and 130, we can jump straight into 64 or 65. And what I want to do is try that LO mower with the Valtra. Now, somebody in the chat this week suggested that I put the LO on the front and the tether on the back, which I think is a genius idea if we're doing um, if we're doing uh, hay bales. Obviously, can't really do that if we've uh, got silage contracts because uh, we need to wrap them. But... Uh, Genius idea for the hay bales. Oops, I managed to just lean on the fence there a little bit, but we're good. So, let's run this up to field 24, where we were at the end of the last episode, with the JCB, and get it loaded up, and get those sold. Right, here we are. Let's just... The easiest way is to reverse in to that field to straighten ourselves up. There we go. Now, I have had mixed reviews from you lot on this little stacking setup. I thought it was brilliant. Um, but there's been a lot of people who are a bit anti-autoload in the chat, so I am interested. Like, genuine open question. I, I do this for speed. And you can get much neater stacks. Um, but people saying it's a bit cheaty. Now, I, I do it because it's kind of one step between having a full autoload trailer that you just drive up alongside the bales and they appear magically on the uh, on the trailer. Sometimes I use that way, sometimes I don't. But this, I kind of thought there's still a little bit of um, skill in at least loading them onto the trailer. And you saw in the last episode, I still managed to topple a few of them over. So... Um, Obviously, I'm going to use it now because I'm enjoying it, but um, future um, harvests, I'd be interested to know what you think and whether or not we go full manual and give it a go 
personally, I know how that's going to go. And probably not that well. So, uh, if you want to see me suffer, I understand that as well. Uh, but equally, is it spoiling? Is it detracting from your enjoyment of the series? Or would you prefer that I uh, carry on as I am? Like I said, it's 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 an element of bringing speed to it and enjoyment for me as well. I just... The, it would take me three times longer to record an episode if I was manually loading than it would if I was um, auto-loading. So, from that perspective, it's another reason I do it. But equally, I'm happy to take some steer from you guys on it. But for now, we are where we are with this setup, so we're going to carry on with it. It's so good. I know a lot of you have also asked about this setup as well and where you can get it, so I will put a link in the uh, description. Um, it is in the mod tub, and it's from Black Sheet Modding, and it's brilliant. In fact, I've been using it all this time, and I haven't actually unfolded it. There's two actual forks down at the bottom here that are sitting up there, and I should be able to unfold them. Let me see if I can do that. Strangely, I can't get it to work, but there's definitely something that should fold out. Um, answers on a postcard, as always, if you... Uh, I've used it and you know what it is, but uh, in the meantime, I am going to push on and get these loaded up. Right, here we go. Two more loads. Um, I actually hadn't realised, but we've managed to do it again. By pure chance, rather than anything else, we have managed to get exactly a full load of bales on a trailer from the field. Now, this is going to be interesting because I haven't strapped these down at all. I'm trying to see how good I can get at this without making a hash of it. So, usually, when I do something like that, first thing I do is make a complete hash of it. So, kind of pleased I've even got to this point without wrecking everything that I've done so far. There's still time, though. There is still time. But, um, looking good. A little bit inaccurate. I'd like to nudge all of those up again. A recipe for disaster if I decide to do those but um, we will do that at the end but first and foremost let's get these last four let's spin around and get them loaded up let's not spin around and clatter the trailer though we've been there and done that already let's get things lined up here Wish me luck. This is where it could all go horribly wrong. Let's go a little bit higher. Ooh. I was rolling in a bit fast then as well. Right, here we go. I know half of you are willing me to make a, <laughs> a mess of this. And there's a very high chance I will. But also, sometimes... Just sometimes... I do all right now. I don't like those gaps. I want to close those gaps. But by closing those gaps, I am opening up the potential of a complete and utter disaster. So, all our hard work could go straight out the window. Let's make sure we're lined up properly, shall we? All right, here we go. Here we go. We can do this. Come on. We can do this. Got them. Right, so we just nudge these forward a little bit. One set. That's looking alright. Two. There we go. Bit safer now. Job done. Right, 
Let's get these strapped up and sold. I am pretty pleased with that. Not bad at all. There we go. Two more. Oh, one at the back as well here, actually. That is a pretty robust load of bales. And what we'll do, we will um, run this back up to field 130. And then we'll come back and get JCB. Exciting. Right, I've just got to check the sell point as well. Let's make sure we sell it at the right place. Thank you, all of you, for that as well, actually. The tips on um, if you take them to the wrong sell point, what happens? And it isn't good. So, always check your sell points before you sell them. Right, we are nearly there. We have been super lucky. Again, it's Town Stores Bales for the third time. So, all three... All three of these initial contracts have ended up at Town Store Bales. So, let's swing in and get them sold. But the other entrance then, it's just a little bit wider. A bit easier, with a high stack of bales on. We, um, we have been known to go the other way, but truth be told, I overshot it. <laughs> right, here we are. Let's get these done. Now, the next field, 130, there isn't as many bales on that, so actually what we might do is double stack with our loads, but again, let's check the sell points first. If we're going to different places, we might have to do it as two separate runs. So, here we go. Let's turn the HUD on so we know what we're looking for. Um, straps off. Contract's done. Finished, and an extra 2,700 in bales. Happy days. Right, up to field 130 now, and we're going to get the JCB. Right, here we go. There is field 130 ahead, and actually, <laughs> gives you an idea for how green this map is. Look at all this grass still waiting to be cut. There's a few things over here, but uh, in general, there is a lot of grass work to be done on this map. Right, okay, what we're looking at here, probably half a load. Let's just check the contract and see... Uh, see where they want them delivered garden center bales actually which is just next door that, that is the closest i think we could have got in terms of a sell point that's great um and field 33 where do they want theirs to go garden center bales we have lucked in here haven't we wowee um and then 64 and 65 garden center and garden center how about that now, 64 and 65. 65 is definitely hay. And that's drying with a tether and baling it too. So we can try the yellow mower with a tether behind it. So, um, I know what we're going to do. We are going to get this load stacked up, sold because it's right next to us, and then we're going to go and finish the last field. At the same time, we're going to get the mower going. Right, here we are. Let us get into this ASAP. Wouldn't take us too long at all. He says, hopefully. Right, we'll see you in a little minute. The broken man stood in water when he heard you can Cause it shows me the faith is more than sight And there we go, just 11 bales off this field. Obviously a small field, so uh, that's okay. But we'll just drop these in the middle here. I think we'll just, we're driving past it. It seems silly to drive past it to collect other bales to then drive back. Um, so let's drop these here, like so. And then that is done. Um, so what we'll do, we'll sell these, we'll run the trailer down on the Valtra here to the other field, field 33, and then we'll go and get the LO mower and the tedder onto this, 
and uh, we'll get it going in the other fields. Now I'm not going to reverse it this time because uh, I'm going to try that trick when we put the tether on the back. So let's head to the cell point and then we'll go and get it and get it hooked up. All right, here we are. Um, let's just go into this gate here. Uh, a few of you have asked how Willie is getting on as well, and why is he not helping? Well, he, because he's semi-retired, kind of picks and chooses what he wants to do, and he's not a big fan of bales. So, um, that's fine. We just don't use them for bales, but looking at some of the crops in these fields, harvest is going to come around very quickly, and uh, we're going to need him then, big time. So, there we go. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, it's counted those as field 33 first, so it hasn't completed that contract yet. So we're going to have to do field 33 as well. That's interesting. Even though those were on field 130, it counted them as field 33 bales because we've got the dual contracts going and both going to the same delivery point. Very interesting. Right. I guess we'll head down to field 33 then on the right side of the road. Crikey, that was nearly a disaster, wasn't it? Okay, we'll see you down there. Right, we're going to try and go in a different way here. If we can get in this way, that'll cut down our trip back. Because there, you can see it just ahead, is the other field. Now, we could drive the path around the outside, but it is just a grass field. So I think we'll just head straight over. So that is a lot quicker than going around the roads. Good stuff. So we're just going to drop, like I said, we're going to drop the trailer here. We're going to go and get the LO mower and the tether, and we're going to get started on the other two contracts. Looking at the Valtra here, it's only 230, so it's a bit short on power. Now I could give it a go, but equally we've got a 300 horsepower tractor here, so I'm going to go and put the LO mower on the Massey. And we're going to keep the Valtra with us. Here we are. Now there's the Terra. Kind of tucked away in the corner. Um, actually, hooking up to the front might be a little bit easier. So we can just sneak in here. Now visibility might be an issue here, but... As we're literally nipping a little bit down... A track. There's not going to be any other vehicles coming along it other than the farm equipment, so no danger to the public, I don't think, with this one. Let's just have a look what it looks like, though. Oh, no, look at that. Loads and loads of uh, visibility. So, let us... I'm just trying to think. I turn here. In fact, this is our first ever field that we did a contract in. We've gone full circle. The equipment's different. It's that long, thin field we did. I think it was in episodes one and two. There we go. Maybe a little bit of hedgerow was damaged in the uh, getting into that field, but sometimes you've got to do what you got to do. Right, let's flip these over. I nearly just unfolded them and got on with it then, without realising what I needed to do. So let us drop this down as well. Can I unhitch it without unfolding it? No. It's got to be unfolded, but that's all right. We've got to do that anyway. It's heavy, this thing. So actually, probably have done with some wheel weights on the back, but too late for that now. We're just going to give it a go and see what happens. Now, width-wise, our tether is wider, so I'm going to run it, I think, off the width of the mower and just have to... Uh, have to overrun some of the uh, grass twice to ted it. Hopefully we don't get caught up in any hedgerows or anything. We shall see. This may not be the best solution. Um, but we're going to try it. See what happens. In fact, this is so much more massively wide. I'm having second thoughts now. Because potentially this is going to... Um, overlap so much we're going to get caught on hedgerows and trees and the like and this is probably not the right field to do it in either um 
yeah, I'm going to drop this off and I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to run the mower, I think. It was a nice idea, and it's still a clever idea. I just have the wrong sort of equipment. I would, I would, I would definitely want to have, see, look, I'm even doing it then, just catching on the branches of that tree. I would want to have um, the same width mower and tether, I think. So let's just, it's about as far as I can drop it off, isn't it? All right got to follow it up before we can unhitch it which is probably better we can tuck it in the corner here but we're going to drop it in the corner here and we're going to do the jobs at one after the other that's a shame i'd have quite like to have done that um maybe in the future in other fields but for now let's give this mower a blast and again now we could have flipped the vulture around and uh undone it that way so everything's wrong now it would have been good i would just see if we can run it the other way on this but we can't there is no spinning cab seat in this tractor unfortunately do you know what I'm doing a lot of thinking aloud here let's go and get the Valtra let's get this in here and let's do things the way they were intended I am going to spin this round first get it all hooked up and then I'm going to spin the cab round. The first time I have ever done this. So well, let's see how we get on. And I think it's shift B. Yep, there we go. Look at it go. Around we go. And we are now driving in reverse. How about that? Right. Let's lower it down. Let's fire it up. Let's get on with it. That is cool. Weird and cool all at the same time. What's it like in cab? Exactly the same as driving normally. The little dinky steering wheel. Right, let's get it done. This is going well. I've radioed down to Davy and told him if he could get on with stacking those bales, we will load them when we get to the field in a little while. But uh, there's not much more to do on this, actually, and then we can jump straight into the tether and start to get it turned. So in the meantime, let's go and see how Davy's getting on. Right, we had just started the tedding, 
when Davey gave us a quick radio message to say all those bales were stacked, ready to go, which is great. So as soon as we're done here, we will run down, we'll sell those. That will be those first three contracts complete then um, that we had. We haven't. This is the first field of the second two contracts, so um, we'll get both of these done. But we'll get those first three done and then we can get a little bit of a, a cash in and see how well we're doing. But uh, we'll worry about that in just a little minute. Let's get this done first. There we go, that did not take any time at all. Loving the fact that uh, we've got this big wide tether to help us now. 64 is the next field, which is a little bit further up the road. So um, we're gonna probably grab the equipment, head up there, and, um, and then go and sell those bales. So um, we'll drop the equipment off and then we'll head down to the other field, grab that and get it to the sell point. FSG to Davy, come in. FSG to Davy. That's very strange. He's um, not answering his radio. Now I told him, stack those bales and just wait for me. Don't try and do anything else with them. So uh, maybe he's just outside the tractor and not um, out of earshot. Um, FSG to Davy, come in. No? Alright, well. Let's hope he's in the field. Because he's kind of done for the day. I was just going to send him home and we can uh, we can get that last uh, set of bales sold. What is going on here? That's our Massey. Oh no. I came from the mud There's 